Thank you for coming to the channel that Step Chanel's for this world where we do <sighs> conversations. Conversations and cocktails, okay? This is a strange picture. How can you be in between your baby mom, I mean your baby's daddy and your sugar daddy wannabe fiance? I'm confused. Yes, she's a beautiful woman. Yes, she's talented and faceted. In the reality stardom type of arena. But Portia. What is Portia doing y'all? What is Portia doing? To me it's like she's sitting there posed. As an African princess. And need to be. With an African man. If that's what she choose to be with. Instead of this old granddaddy looking type man. I'm like. Portia, Portia, Portia baby girl. That's something for your mama to be partaking in. But. I guess the older the juice, the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. I don't know. I'm just saying, girl. But that man look old. And for you to be taking a photo with your ex and your new man, it just seems kind of ill. Very strange, Portia. Very strange. For me, it's just like Kenya and Mark Daly look good together, but with like oil and water. Oil and water, it just didn't mix. And you with this man, that's like your daddy or your granddaddy. And I'm like, are you really wanting to be a princess? And it doesn't seem like maybe, and I'm just going out on a limb. He can even shoot it up in you, girl. It might even ponder the thing, do he needs Viagra to get it up? I just don't trust this man. This man just don't look right. He looks kind of evil in some kind of sense. And he did the pictures that y'all take, I tell you, it's just like your granddaddy. You know, or maybe your daddy. And you sitting up there trying to say it's all about the money, the fame, and the fortune. And I can be a princess over there in Nigeria. Of course, you can be a pr princess over here in the States, okay? You can be a princess, girl. You don't have to go to another country. You don't have to do that to be a princess. You can be a, a, a princess here in Atlanta. And this man just got too much pass. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Fallon is a very pretty woman. And she's much younger than you. But you sitting up there looking like you, this is your sugar daddy. Or he pimping you out. Or is this really just a storyline, girl? Look at that man. Girl, you need to be with the Silver Foxes if you want somebody. And I think they're in New York or D.C. or something, but they're called the Silver Foxes. And all those men, they look good. I mean, they aged well. But this man look like he got one foot in the gray and one foot out of the gray. And if he slip on a banana peel, both legs just come out from under him. And boom, he dead. Girl, Portia, what are you doing? Did you really check his bank account? He might be ghosting you, girl. He might be saying he worth a billion, but when you really look him up, you get your investigators out there, he might just be worth a couple of thousand, girl. I, I'm not understanding, Porsche. I'm not understanding what you're doing. It's like you just go from worse to worse when you choose these men. I'm like, are you going to be living over there in Nigeria? Are you going to totally adapt to their way of living, their culture, their submissiveness to their men? You're going to do this with that man. Girl, I can see you sitting up there with a moo moo dress on and you trying to babysit his kids and any other kids you may have. I mean, is this the type of environment you want to be subdued under, sub subdued to? I don't know. I don't know. It's like you're aging yourself being with this man. And I'm like, Cat Williams, what? All your vivaciousness if that's a word all your captivatedness I'm like, and I'm with Cat Williams why why waste it on this old man I mean you think he gonna die and leave you a, a gazillion dollars or something and then you go find somebody uh, worthy much younger to definitely be able to handle you in the bed and as well out the bed I'm like I'm with Prince girl I don't think so I don't think so girl you went from Cordell to Dennis McKinley, to God Dog and uh, uh, what I'm gonna say, Papa Smurf, girl, 
You did better trying to marry Peter. Peter got a little bit more get up than this man. Peter Thomas got a little bit more get up. I'm like, hell to the now. I'm with Whitney. Hell to the now, no. No, 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 no. I, I don't see it, person. I don't see it. I mean, did you make a pact with Bravo and Andy and those folks over there to bring the ratings back with you trying to show them your pursuit of happiness is the Nigerian queen of Ben and now? You visiting his hometown where he grew up at. I mean, he didn't even take Fallon probably to his hometown. He know what he saw in you was an opportunity to build status. Just like I felt Mike was doing the same thing with Cynthia. And now you don't hear too much from Cynthia. I don't even see where she is with Mike. Okay? But he was all up in her business when she was in really in with the housewives and trying to get in every taping. Just everything. Now I don't see nothing. I don't see where y'all at. Where are y'all? Well, let's get on into this story. This story. This story. Bravo TV, uh, Bravo TV brought out on Miss Portia Williams, honey. A uh, lady by the name of Jenny Berg wrote up a little expose for us to partake of Miss Portia Williams. She titled it, Portia Williams stuns in a fabulous new dress in Nigeria with fiancé Simon Gubadia. Okay, I mean, what do you want this to be known as Mrs. Portia Williams Gubadia? Girl, you probably can't even talk their language. You see what I'm saying? You you don't even know that culture, they, they, their native tongue. You could barely get the Underground Railroad, and we were holding you down with that. Now, you're going to go over here to another country. We don't know what we're going to do. What we're going to do, we can't hold you down, girl. You start making silly mistakes over there, you're going to be a, a laughing stock of the world, pretty much. You know? We try to hold you down here in Atlanta, but, girl, you're going a little bit too far now. Mixing and mingling way out your league. And this man is old and seasoned. He's just like, he ain't got no life left in him. Like, oh, I'm going to be worn out. I'm going to be worn. Didn't have a nerve to drink, uh, smoke a cigar. Like, you know, nicotine is bad. And I hope he ain't smoking around, baby girl. Girl, you had a lot of that secondhand smoke. My goodness. But anyway, it goes on to say the Real Housewives of Atlanta bright to be was glowing and gorgeous and a bright floral and sambo from her new sister. So this new sister, I'm I'm thinking it may be his sister, Mr. Gabadia, and that's the gown they're talking about. I mean, it seemed like it would be something of pregnancy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, Portia, you're going to stop showing all your assets, girl, especially that asset of yours in the back that's holding your back up. you going to just not show that no more? Okay, girl. All right. Going back to the article, says Portia Williams and her fiancé, Simon Gabadia, travel in style. Now, see, that's what I'm saying. We're going to just pause here for a moment. How can you be between two jokers, one fooled around on you, and the other one that you call yourself getting engaged to, he was probably fooling around. All right? With this white woman down here on the way to the right. And you want to sit up there and marry him? I mean, is, can he afford several wives at one time, Portia? You let a sister know because I want to know. It just seems very weird that he would double down from somebody much younger than you, which was Fallon, to upgrade to you. Because was it because of your status? Is, is Simon trying to use you, girl? I mean, I don't know. I don't know, Portia. You just don't have the best luck in choosing men. But, I mean, that dress is cute, girl. But it's covering you up. And we used to seeing more skin than that. I mean, it's very flattering. But are you going to uh, assume this new look, this new role? Uh, as being the princess over there in Nigeria of his hometown? I, I don't know. Is this a storyline? Is you and Andy Cohen just plot something up and just giving us something? And then once it's all finished taping and all that kind of stuff, you're you, you going to just dump Simon or something? But since he's giving you like a little spin off like Kim Zosiak had of Tardy for the Party, and he's giving you the pursuit of Porsche, I guess we're going to have at least maybe five or six episodes for the first season or something. And it's going to hopefully um, be a longevity type of situation where you can go maybe four, five, six, seven, eight seasons. That would be nice. But what is Simon getting out of this? I mean, he's definitely getting the recognition for his airtime and people to recognize him by his name. And I'm sure he's been Googled a million times. 
Because some people saying he's worth a couple of thousand, a couple of hundred thousand. But he's supposed to be worth billions. So, I mean, are these cars, these, these uh, what do you call them, uh, Rolls Royces he's rolling around in? Are they leased, girl? Are they leased? Are the clothes leased? I, I mean, come on. I, I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. But going back to the article, it says, uh, Portia Williams and her fiancé, Simon Gabadia, traveled in style. The Real Housewives of Atlanta bride-to-be and her beau took a trip on a private jet for Labor Day weekend. And Portia was serving queenly vibes in a vibrant printed maxi dress. And now that the little birds are on an extra special trip to Nigeria, Portia is showing off another incredible look. In an Instagram post from September 22nd, the Atlanta mama shared photos from her trip to Simon's hometown. What an absolutely beautiful welcoming by the people of Benin here in the home of the Honorable Chief Gabrielle Igbidino, something like that. She wrote, thank you to my new sister for sending me my fabulous dress. Okay, the dress was fabulous indeed. With a high-low hem and a ruffled collar, the look was decked in floral print that had cheerful hues of yellow green and pink portia paired the dress with heels and a golden clutch and its fabric bellowed generously as she danced along to african music and of course if you go on her instagram account you will see her in her floral print dress which we're showing right there in that particular photo and i guess that's the man or the chief they went and visit but i'm like did he visit this chief before he met you portia but that is the gown that they're talking about um, that was sent to Portia, I guess, to wear. So I'm like, ooh, honey. She done went from chic and sexy to mother hen and uh, mama bear. Yes. So I'm not really sure what is going on with Miss Portia and what she's trying to prove to the masses when trying to marry this old grandpa-looking man. I mean, love is blind and... Love, you know, has no, you know, no boundaries, but Lord have mercy. I mean, you don't went from the young man to old grandpa. I don't see it. I just don't see it, Portia. It doesn't seem like y'all have much love. Okay, it just seems like it's more of lust. More of lust on his side, because I don't know. He just, I don't know. He just don't, mm -mm. it's not giving me I'm in love with this man vibe. This is just like a photo op we're looking at. And this could be your dad, Portia. Or your granddad, Portia. You see what I'm saying? So I'm like, if the top reason is for you to have notoriety and be a queen of somebody's country, I mean, what is it? I'm, I'm kind of confused, Portia. But y'all get down in them comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Miss Portia trying to be a queen over in Nigeria. And uh, thinking she's going to... Uh, she's going to solidify a lot of state property gonna inherit a lot of land and jewels and all this thing you know Portia be out there sometimes she don't be thinking with the full dick I and mean, we know when I'm saying not thinking with the full dick how she can kind of be scatterbranded sometimes but you know looks ain't gonna get you everything Portia be careful. Everything that shines ain't gold. Or they say all that glitter ain't gold. And I, I just don't, I don't know. I just, just really think Mr. Dennis and Mr. Gabadia just set up this whole fake storyline and just going to milk it for what it's worth. Because ain't nowhere in the world. Hell, Fallon didn't look like she was in love with that man. That white woman probably wasn't in love with him. She just wasn't loving, was in love with what he could give her. And uh, uh, that's just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, 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 mm -mm. And that was the girl that's on the left. She looked like she was on that boat that was with Portia. So I'm like, is that his other woman? Portia, you are in a relationship where you're going to be one of the wives and not the main wife girl. Because I heard they like big, big women. Oh, And you're not a big, big woman, Portia. So I don't know. That, that's, that's too much of an age difference for me for you, Portia. But what he gonna do for you when you want to go out dance and you just want to stay out all night? Papa ain't gonna last for four hours out there. He gonna be talking about he got to come back home. I mean, damn, Greg looked kind of young and sexy in a way. This man just don't have no sex appeal, not nowhere up in his uh, his looks. 
And I just see it now, them little nice uh, mm-hmm. boys out there. Not the flower, them flower girls or whatever they call them. Um, but the boys that were, were the young men, you're going to be looking at them. You're going to get tired of looking at that old man. You're going to get tired of looking at that old man. And it, he just, I don't know, I just get a bad vibe with him, Portia. I really do. And then they told me uh, in these streets, on these YouTube streets, that that should have been your mama's man. And, you know, probably if he could swing both of y'all, he probably would do both if y'all would agree. He just don't look right. I don't know. He just, I'm like, I'm like, Cat Will, what, what is this trick-or-treat Halloween type of festival you're trying to give us of a role-playing gimmick for your storyline, Porsche? Is that what you're trying to do, girl? And I'm like, why? And I'm still waiting for the answer, girl. I'm still waiting because I can't see you. I can't see PJ with no granddaddy. And that's sad, Prince. That's so sad. That's so sad. Patrick, Portia can't get it right. She cannot get it right with these men. Like, dang, Portia. I know Claire Hustle was giving her that look, too. Like, are you crazy? Out of all the men you could have wooed or they could have wooed you, you going out with Grandpa. And I'm like, with hell to the no. Uh-uh. Hell to the no, no, no. I can't do it. I can do bad by myself. I don't need Grandpa to help me down. The stairs, no, I don't. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Plus, you should have had him about uh, his senior, about his age, or you should have been younger. Because you're too pretty, you're too vibrant, you're too bold to be sitting up there wasted on that man. Okay, but that's all I have for this video. Y'all get down there and y'all tell me. That one on the left looking like she already pumping inside me. Okay. And I ain't talking about pumping no gas. Okay. I ain't talking about that way. But yeah, I think these jokers right here got something. It's this it's a it's a fake storyline going on. And I don't think she's gonna marry him. And if she do, it's just be temporary. It's just being name only. Cause they getting something from the both. Either he's getting some pull up from his country. Uh, in his uh, social circle by messing with somebody like Portia in the celebrity realm. Oh, it's just something I tell you. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Y'all get down in them comments and let me know what y'all thought about it and what Portia's doing out here with this much, 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 much older man. Okay, and do y'all think it's a gimmick or do y'all think it's really love at its best? Okay, but if you like it, love it. And got to have more of these videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Share and like my videos. Alright. And I'll see you next one. Bye bye.